Over the past few years, Nuzlocke's have taken over the Pokemon community, with ROM hacks and rule sets getting more and more difficult, but I decided to take a different approach. What can be harder than beating one Nuzlocke? Beating three of them simultaneously. I decided to attempt three hardcore Nuzlocke's of Pokemon Platinum, with my inputs going to all three games at the same time. That means anytime I move my player, choose a move, or even go to my bag to use an item, those inputs must be put into all three games. For this run, standard hardcore Nuzlocke rules apply, but in this challenge specifically, for all major fights such as rivals, gym leaders, and team galactic bosses, I must challenge them all at the same time in all three games. The only time I am allowed to control the game as one at a time is when I am team building and planning for fights. Duplicate Pokemon across games are also allowed, and I tried to give my trio of duplicates cool nicknames as well. I livestream this run over at twitch.tv slash adamant, so be sure to check it out if you want to see these challenges live. Our journey begins with Professor Rowan asking us what our name is? Names are? Let's go with names are. Professor Rowan asks us what our names are, and we decide that today would mark the beginning of the legend of green, eggs, and ham. We name all three of our rivals Kevin, because no matter what parallel universe we live in, Kevin will always be our rival. North of our home of Twinleaf Town, we run into Professor Rowan himself, who offers to give us a Pokemon. We decide that this is the first big point where the games will differ, as I choose to give each game a unique starter, which already makes strategizing quite different between them. We named our starters after the legendary Chicago Bulls trio of Michael Jordan, Dennis Rodman, and Scottie Pippen. And I know we misspelled Pippen, please don't be mad. We tackle, scratch, and pound each of our respective Kevins. And then it is time to tackle the real hurdle of this run, navigating the overworld. Planning fights would be easy enough, but the inconvenience of simply going from one town to another was arguably harder than most fights in this game. With factors such as wild encounters, spinning trainers, and more, it can sometimes be hard to navigate areas that have lots of turns and ledges. However, we can use that to our advantage. One way to get encounters, or do anything safely in three games at once, is to create a desync, or a difference in between games so that they aren't in sync. One easy method is to use the random paths of NPCs to create obstacles in one game that don't exist in another, or run into tall grass where RNG decides when and where Pokemon come out. Then we can put the other games in the corner of a building like a Pokemon Center, so they don't get into trouble while we're concentrating on one specific game. With this in mind, we carefully head over to Sandgem Town, where we can buy Pokeballs from the Mart, and the run officially begins. We grab our trio of rock, paper, and scissors from Route 201, and capture the promptly named Lake Trio from Lake Verity. On Route 202, we get Mickey, Donald, and Goofy, and after grabbing our fishing rod from the generous fisherman in Jubilife, we go back to Twinleaf to fish up Marlin, Nemo, and Dory the Magikarps. On 204, we grab Tick, Tack, and Toe, as well as three Zubats in Ravage Path that we quickly named after three of the Batman actors, Bale, Keaton, and Pattinson. With our parties now filled to the brim, Green, Eggs, and Ham travel east of Jubilife to Route 203, where we must fight Kevin once again. Now, rival fights in this challenge are especially difficult, because they are the only ones where the opponent's team varies across all three games based on what starter you choose. While in this fight specifically, only the starter is different. Later on, Kevin's teams can have two of either Roserade, Rapidash, or Floatzel depending on what starter he has, and predicting which Pokemon he may send out at any given time is no easy task. However, we are able to overpower his team of two Pokemon here, and on 203, we grab our trio of Cricketots, Mashed, Fried, and Tater Tots for our different types of potatoes. We sneak around a few trainers in Orberg Gate, and snag Huey, Dewey, and Louie, our merry band of Psyducks. The Orberg gym leader is not currently at his gym, so we journey into the mines to find him. While doing so, we get our assortment of rock-type Pokemon, which we named Dwayne, The Rock, and Johnson. Before we finish our final preparations take on the gym, we capture Harry, Ron, and Hermione on Route 207. We complete the extremely challenging gym puzzle, and come face to face with work to fight for our first three gym badges. So I'm just gonna go absorb on Absorbing Water Gun. This should just kill. Remember this correctly there. So that just kills. Send in Kratos right away, please. Onyx. Okay, I don't think I'm faster. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Alright, so he's Stealth Rock. Louis, Louis faster. I think he just kills. Stealth Rocks puts a little damper on this. Doesn't kill though. Okay, this just got funky. I can get another Absorb off. Oh, he used a potion here. Okay, that's fine. That'll get him pretty low. I can water gun here. Use his headbutt. Don't flinch me. Oh, that crit kills me here. Oh my god. Okay, Dewey flinched. Not ideal. So, here's the thing. I think I need to switch. What into what, though? I'm gonna raise relief. Try to just do as much damage as I can. Okay, he was Leer. I think if, as long as this hits, I'm in a good spot. Okay, good. This might just kill. It might not, though. It does. Okay, that's huge. Okay, so that's one down. So this one's saying that Dewey's already in. So now I can go back. Go into Ron as I wanted to. 
So the rock's dug in. I'm just going to risk crit, I think, and low kick this guy. I flinched. That's that's cringe. Okay, that's fine, though. I get the intimidate drop. I'm going to switch. See what? See how much damage... Oh, fuck, I attacked. I didn't mean to attack. I attacked with Shanks. That's fine. Headbutt. This is going to hurt like a motherfucker, isn't it? This is tough. But I'm going to do this here. I'm going to do this. Oh, oh, fuck his pursuit. Oh my god. That's wild. Okay. Well, while that's in play, I'm gonna go into Pippin. And I'm gonna mock punch. Huh, nice crit. Okay, thank god. Oh, he's used pursuit again. Oh my god. Bubble. Headbutt. Don't flinch me. Nice. Come on. Okay, what he did 13. Okay, I can stay in. Just don't flinch me again, please. Nice, okay. That's, that's that's a badge. The loss of Tack will not be forgotten, as it was the first death of this run. But because of that, we secured the Kapo badge in all three games. Now that we can use Rock Smash, we moseyed on over to Floroma Town, where at the neighboring Valley Windworks, we were able to capture Snap, Crackle, and Pop. It was at this location that we had our first real run-in with Team Galactic. If you were ever scared of Mars or her Prugly as a child, just imagine dealing with three of them at the same time. And to spice it up a little, I tried doing it with as few duplicate Pokemon on all three teams as I could. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully, this attack just kills. We spark, rock throw, rock throw. I'm probably gonna miss one of these rock throws. Okay, Dwayne missed. I get toxic. That's awkward. Luckily, I can still rock throw. I hit this one. Probably isn't gonna kill though. I'm going to magnitude. He's gonna fake me out, isn't he? Yep, that's fine. That's fine though. That's so fine. I'm still going to spark and magnitude. He fakes, okay, so he fakes that Luxio, which is fine. That does a lot of damage. Fan attack is smelly. Magnitude 10. Wait, magnitude 10! Let's go! Okay. So while you're doing that, I'm gonna switch. So I'm gonna go into Garrus, get Intimidate, and then I'm gonna go into Grottle, I guess. Okay, magnitude 7. Is that gonna kill? I don't think so. Oh, that's so close. I'm gonna Razor Leaf this guy. That hurts. Not that much, actually. That's good. We're gonna bite. Okay, that didn't do a lot. Good. We're gonna Razor Leaf again. Bite did good damage. We're gonna Razor Leaf. Fantac might hurt a bit. Okay. Just gonna quick attack. Kill. Okay, one down. Bite again. Good. Berry procs. We're alright, we're alright. Grottle is tanking this. Scratch. Don't crit. Nice, doesn't matter. Does this kill? It's gonna be close. That's right, nice crit. Okay. And then just bite. Okay, that should be GG's. Holy shit, that was awesome. After dealing with three crazy cat ladies, we travel through a turn of forest with Cheryl. <laughs> she single-handedly cost Green his Cricketune and Weasel because she refused to attack on all three games, making me have to essentially 2v1 all of the fights. But luckily, we were able to get through. And after ditching Cheryl at the exit with no hesitation, we ran back in to get Cloud, Thunder, and Lightning. Then, after a quick yap fest from Cyrus and Eterna, we got Mario, Luigi, and Toad on Route 211, as well as Burrito, Fajita, and Taco in Mount Cornet. Our next challenge was to get our second set of badges from Gardenia, but in reality, it wasn't really a challenge, as I used Keaton, Rodman, and Hermione to essentially sweep Gardenia with an assortment of flame wheels and wing attacks, taking her down with minimal damage taken. Now, with this momentum, I was feeling good, like nothing could stop us. But little did I know the horrors that awaited me in the Galactic Building. I've played this game enough to know how to get to the top floor without fighting any trainers, but there is one that is unavoidable, Jupiter, and her Skuntank. At this point, I was still trying to do these fights without using duplicate Pokemon, so I crafted three teams that I believed would be capable of getting us through, and challenged Jupiter to rid Eternal City of her presence. Now the thing with having three fights at once is that the amount of variance that can happen between fights greatly increases. There are three times as many chances for me to get hit with critical hits, which is not ideal in any Nuzlocke, let alone three at once. But there's also the fact that Skuntank has Night Slash, a move that has a 1 in 8 chance to crit instead of the usual 1 in 16. All of these factors mean that the chance of something catastrophic happening is larger than normal. And well, take a look for yourself. Okay, this should be good. Wing attack. Uh, bite's gonna do a little bit. Don't flinch me a lot. Good. This should just kill. Get a second attack off for it. Oh my god! It crit me. Just hit. You're good. Okay, that's it. we're fine, we're fine, we're good. So now we pivot through Intimidate, because the only damaging move I th has, I think, is Night Slash. I don't think it has anything else that can do much to us. 
Night Slash, that's fine. It's high crit, but it's okay. We can go through again if we need to. Oh, no, that's gonna be bad if we have to do that again. Magnitude 8, nice. I missed. Screech, ah, balls. I miss again! No, I got hit! Oh, I got crit! No! This is bad. This is really bad. Tremendously bad. Cannot explain how bad this is. Get intimidated off with Goofy. Okay. I missed again. And I missed again. This is so awesome. I'm gonna do another intimidate because I need to. I know you have no energy, but you have to fight it out. Stick it, stick, stick it through. Going to Pippin. Bubble Beam. Oh my god. Let's go, Primplo. Let's go. Don't crit me, don't crit me, don't crit me, don't crit me, don't crit me. Wait, why am I crunching? I got crit! Alright, can I make this a- can I just make this a two? A two, two, two fight. Why? Why? Ah, oh, that's three crits. That's three crits. I just need to land one attack. That's double crit. I just need to land one attack. You can't be serious! You cannot be serious! You cannot be serious! You are not- You are- What the f*** is that? What is this? What is this game? What is this game, dude? Uh, go Taco. Taco, I'm begging you, bro. Okay. No! On the other one! Holy sh! And I missed! And I missed! And I missed! If I could confuse Ray both, that'd be sick. Don't crit. Good. Okay. We have a chance. I think Fajita's just gonna go down. I hit himself? Okay, wait. I wait, wait. Oh my god, wait. Wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I should have stayed in wing attack, but it's fine. Sleep. Okay, stay confused at yourself. Okay, he hits. Okay. I could double team, I'm just gonna try to get hits off. Okay, come on, Keaton. Do I wing attack or confuse right? I, I wing attack here. I just gotta get two hits off, basically. Oh my god. No! No, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Barely making it out alive, we lick our wounds, bury our fallen soldiers, and begin our trek to Hard Home City. But not before grabbing our bike and receiving three Togepi eggs from Cynthia, which we hatch into fried, soft boiled, and scrambled. We also grab our explorer kit so we can go underground to look for some fossils. After a long time of digging, we get what we needed and revive our fossils into Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. On Route 206, we capture Dasher, Prancer, and Comet, but in Wayward Cave, we get some luck on our side. For green and eggs, we get a Gibble, as well as a Bronze Dwarf for Ham. We name the trio Spencer, Gibby, and Tebow. If you're enjoying the video, consider leaving a like and subscribing with notifications on. These videos take a long time to make and it's the best way to help support the channel. We head through Mount Cornet, as well as Route 218, where as I am editing this now, I realized that I totally forgot to get an encounter here. My bad. In Hardhome, we accepted a Gift EV from Bebe, which we decided to evolve into Umbreon in all three games due to its amazing defensive stats and its great utility. Now planning for Fantina is when I decided to make a slight change to the challenge. See, Fantina's Miss Magius is really strong for this point in the game, and can only be beaten consistently by using certain combinations of Pokemon. Combinations that I couldn't use without allowing dupes on each team. And after planning for almost two hours and having no ideas, I decided that I would allow myself to use the same Pokemon on each game in order to actually progress in this challenge. With this restriction lifted, I was able to craft a team that would hopefully allow me to get past Fantina. We bite and we crunch. Oh my god, oh! Oh! Oh, we got the crit! That was huge! Okay, sweet. That's amazing. That's probably means Miss Magus is coming in. Oh, shit. Oh no! Oh, this is really bad. This is like really bad. Let's use our let's use our brains. This works. Okay, I get confused. That's okay. That's okay. That's all right. That's gonna happen. Doesn't hit me. Wing attack. Sand attack. Oh, and I'm asleep. Awesome. And I hurt myself. I get a sand attack off on one. Okay. Okay, I get another sand attack off. Another crit. Nice. When is it my turn to? Ow! And I'm still asleep? Are we serious right now? I gotta like double team here now. Just don't crit me. 
Okay, you got a crit. Nice. So now we switch into Gyarados. Missed. Okay, good. Okay, I think that means Miss Magius is down on two. Nice. Kill. Okay, beautiful. We're gonna go into Keaton. Okay, that is good. Ouch. Okay. That's one fight down. But I have my Chesto Berry. Do I stay in here? I'm confused on one. He's gonna attack me another. I don't wanna die. Okay, that's fine. Sucker Punch failed. Awesome. Bite. He's gonna hit me with Sucker Punch. It's okay. No damage. Alright, Miss Magus is going to side Beam. It's fine. Okay, two down. Nice crit. Nice crit. Going to you on the side beam. Okay, now we're just locked in on a one. Confuse Ray, a little stinky. A little stinky. It's okay. We just need a few sand attacks to get off. Come on, Umbreon. You got this, bro. Nope. Okay. Uh, he's resorting to magical leaves already. He's not confuse Ray again. It's not 100% accurate, I don't think. Okay, crit's kind of stinky, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Let's switch now. Jesus Christ, dude. That's unbelievable. Nice try. I appreciate the effort to go for a Shadow Ball there, but you know, you just weren't quite up to snuff. And he missed, and that's GG's. We get our third set of badges, somehow without any deaths. But we don't get to rest for long, as we immediately have to fight Kevin again. And this time, he has a much more diverse set of teams across the three games. Oh, he's gonna be like that. That's really cringe. We're getting saucy. Okay, we have a big desync though, so this is good. Oh, we're using Endeavor. Okay, we kill it though anyway. Okay. Roselia. That's fine. We're going to you. Okay, we hit one. I know there's no running from a trainer battle. Don't tell me what to do. The Endeavor quick attack gimmicks are crazy. Missed again. All right. What does he even have? He has Metal Claw? Oh, he's level 27. I didn't even, like, get to the right level. I go into Han anyway. One more should kill. Alright, okay, Endeavor's a little stinky. He did, like, 8 damage with a crit, so I'm good to stay in for a bit. I missed. This is the plan. Now, while they're doing that, I'm gonna go into Gyarados. Wow, Crunch did actually nothing. Okay, that's Staravia down, thank god. Crunch. Dragon Rage. Roselia comes in. So we're going into Nemo. We're staying in here on the other two, and we're just attacking. Okay, good. Do I just kill Monferno? I think I do. I do a lot. Might as well stay in. Flame Wheel's gonna hurt a bit. There's no way it kills me, though. Okay, it burns. It's a little... I mean, I still kill... I think I'm gonna switch. No, we go into Staravia here. That's the play. Let me attack. Good. Okay, that should be one fight down, I think. Razor Leaf's gonna be fine. Flame Wheel's gonna hurt a bit. But I got the Intimidate off. I can get a wing attack here. Oh, no! Such a bad, such a bad play on my part. I should've just stayed in. With our trio of Staravias broken, it became harder to use any of the other two in later fights. So we throw them in the box in case of emergency. Then, on Route 209, we get Steamer, Cloth, and Sheets, as well as El Eggy and El Wisey on Route 210. On that route, we also encountered a Geodude, but it blew up before we could catch it. After having to deal with two Ace Trainers on Route 215, we arrive in Veilstone City, the home of our next badge. Here, we go up against Maylene, the fighting type gym leader, and she has a Lucario that can be pretty scary if you don't have the right Pokemon. Literally, just wing attack? Oh, he, f he, f he faked out on- oh, this is scary, actually. Oh, I, I go away, I can't flinch because I'm in her focus. Ha, huh, get shit on, I totally forgot about that. Hit the range, hit the range, hit the range. Yes, okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, we attack again. Good damage, good damage. Rock Tomb hits, that's okay. We just kill. The, I thought the Machoke was gonna be harder. It is really easy. Okay, so Lucario's coming out. I don't even know what Lucario's gonna use. It's gonna use Metal Claw, surely, right? Which is fine. We just go into our Gyarados and we Dragon Rage a few times. We're gonna need three of these guys to hit. Okay, another Paralysis. Okay, we hit. Good. She's gonna heal now. 
She didn't heal. You just hit through this. Hit through this. Come on. All three of you. Come on. Yes! Oh, let's go! No paralysis! Let's go! Easy game! Easy game! Now that we have four badges, we help Dawn and Lucas out with a little problem they're having up near the Galactic Warehouse. We get access to Fly, which is a great tool for getting all of the games synced up in one location at the same time. But our next worry was our next badge in Pastoria City, and we have a lot of encounters available to us before we have to take on the gym. We then go to grab our encounters on Route 215, getting Gimli and Legolas the Merrells. But the Abra that was going to be named Aragorn did not seem too fond of us, breaking out of his Pokeball and teleporting away. In the Maniac Tunnel, we get three healthy servings of Hippopotas, named Tupac, Biggie, and Snoop. Then, right outside, we caught Ren and Stimpy. Ham had found a Houndor as well, but it decided to use Roar on us, leaving us with no encounter there. As we pass through Valor Lakefront, we catch three giraffe rigs that we named Alex, Marty, and Melman. Then, after making it to Pastoria City, we backtrack a little to Route 213, where we capture a nice trio of Wingles that we named Peanut, Butter, and Jelly. In the Great Marsh, we were able to encounter a band of Whoopers and Quagsires, but Green's Quagsire ran away. However, we were able to catch the other two, naming them Whoop and Poop. We do need to finish our little gang of Quagsires. So west of Pastoria, on Route 212, we capture Scoop, while the other two games get Krogunks that we named Goku and Vegeta. After gathering our plethora of encounters, we get jumped by Kevin right outside of the gym. Yeah, the double teaming. Here we go. All right, two hit. I'm gonna hit. Wait, go, go, go over quick, go over quick. All right, that's good. Okay, Bastion on kills. Uh, rock throw again. He's still double. He's endeavoring. I hit one. Endeavor's a little silly. Okay, that does good damage. I have my orange berry, so we're okay. I need to get Crobat in. All right, we're good. We're good. Just hit this, please. Nice. Okay, he hits. Good. Good. We're a little off pace, but it's okay. We're good. The Aqua just gonna hurt, but the Weasel's gonna go down. I'm gonna stay in, actually. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna wing attack. I'm gonna get another revenge off. Tail up, that's okay. I'm gonna switch next turn. That's a crit. Okay, nice, dude. Uh, oh, I'm in a bad spot right now, aren't I? No, we go, we go into Umbreon, actually, here. Do that, okay. This should kill. Don't flinch me. Good. Nice, another crit, but you know what? That's okay, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. That's okay. I'm gonna confuse Ray. I can stay in here. I can wing attack here. I can switch here. Monferno down, nice crit, good. I'm gonna faint attack here. We can still wing attack here. I gotta switch into Machoke. We attack again. Aqua Jet. Okay, that should be one down. Maybe two. I'm not really paying attention. Bubble Beam. Okay. That's not a crit? What are we doing here? Actually, no. Gyarados is fine. Gyarados is good here. That's two down. Just hit yourself once, please. Make this a little easier for me. Thank you. Dragon Rage. Just Aqua Tail. Good. Sweet. With Kevin down, as well as the Pastoria City Gym Trainers, we now need to plan for Crash or Wake himself. One thing that's apparent is we don't have a good counter for his Gyarados, with only two of our three games having Luxury available to them, or any Electro-type in general. However, with all the encounters we have, we are guaranteed an encounter that will answer our prayers, lying in the grass of the Trophy Garden. I'm of course talking about the series mascot, Pikachu, as well as Pichu. Either of them are exactly what we need. We catch our group of Electric Mice and name them Ash, Brock, and Misty. After leveling them up, we evolve them into Raichus with a Thunderstone we found in Celestion Ruins. Now that these Raichus are giving our team a jolt, it's time to take on Wake. We just Thunderbolt, because we outspeed all three, and that's uh, three dead Gyaradoses. Not surviving that. Thank you, Raichus. Now, it gets a little tricky. We go into... He's going to Mud Shot. The Mud Shot's good. Okay, that's perfect, actually. We're going to Water Pulse. All three outspeed. Beautiful. Oh, nice crit. Actually, that's kind of bad. We're out of sync now. We're still going to Water Pulse again. Hey, use a Hyper Potion. Actually, that's okay. That's okay. Get him into Potion range for the next turn. That's probably okay. Water Pulse. Rock Tomb. Okay. We go to Machamp because that was, that was always the play here. He's going to heal on two of them. One of them, he's not. And if he yawns, we still, we still kill. Revenge on two, wake up slap on one, I have no- I mean, actually... Yeah, we'll do this, it's okay. Mud shots, gonna lower our speed a little bit, that's okay. Mud shots. Revenge, that's fine, actually. 
Revenge again. Hit me, please. Hit me. Good. That's another one down. Quagsire's gonna die. I'm gonna wait for this turn to play out. It, I don't think it ever hurts me to attack here. Yeah, so we're just gonna- we're gonna revenge on two of them, wake up slap on one. I'm not below half, this should be fine. Nice crit, that's okay. I switch now though. Good damage, good damage. Oh my god, he's so- oh my god, he's so- Okay, that's one down, nice! That's good, okay. I'm gonna switch now. So we go to Nemo. I can just, uh, Dragon Rage. Okay, that did a little bit of damage, that's okay. Good Dragon Rage here. He's not doing enough damage. If he crits, that does a bit. Okay, no crit, good. Just kill. That's one down. He's okay, he's done. Oh, he's citrusing, okay. That's actually really good. We're gonna do some silly, some silly shenanigans here. We're gonna go into you. So we're gonna go into you, because you have Storm Drain on you. Wait, am I not Storm Drain? Or is that not how Storm Drain works in this game? Am I, is my mind just misinformed? Might be misinformed, okay. So we're gonna body slam here, actually. All right, he's gonna heal for sure. That should be a free switch. Oh, he didn't. Okay, so I should be able to kill now, right? Or do I go into Umbreon now? Because I think a crunch high roll will kill me. Fan attack should just kill. He's gonna brine. That should be fine. I tank those. I ate those for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They should just kill. Come on, please. Thank you, Umbreon. Let's go. That was that was so good. We officially have five of eight sets of badges, and I am more than eager for my sixth. But Team Galactic has other plans, setting off a bomb in the Great Marsh. We defeat the Grunt Responsible, and Cynthia comes along, giving us a secret potion, as well as an old charm that she wants us to deliver to her grandmother in Celestic Town. We oblige, and once we get there, Team Galactic seems to have taken over there as well. We end up fighting Galactic Boss Cyrus in the ruins, but his team causes us no issues, and we save the town. Cynthia's grandmother is so grateful for us that she gives us the HM for Surf, which will allow us to get to Candelave City. On our way over there, we grab a set of encounters on Route 218 named Doe, Ray, and Me. We try to head over to the gym, but are immediately stopped by Kevin, who's itching for a rematch. But his team has gotten much stronger in the short time since our last fight, and I knew this was gonna be rough. Or He's gonna double team, but we gotta pray it's not that bad. Like, it's not gonna do, do that much. It's not gonna, like, be that evasive. Okay, so he takedowns the Bastiodon, which is good. Kind of weird. Uh, okay, I rock blasted. Why was it not equal there? I didn't switch that one, did I? Oh my god, I crit. I definitely- Oh, I got Omni Boost! Okay, I got Omni Boost. That's really good. Okay, I'm just gonna rock throw now. Okay, that's really good. Okay, this got really weird now. So what comes in on the Golem? Empoleon. Okay, so now this gets strange. I'm going into Nemo first. So I gotta get this Empoleon out of here ASAP. Okay, right, so now we're, we're, completely, we're completely doing both in different intervals right now. Okay, so Heracross does come in. Strange, but that's okay. So now, we go into you. All right, and now we're gonna go into... Actually, I'm gonna attack here. A Dragon Rage and a Wing Attack. This is perfect. Oh, can I just kill here? I think I can just kill. How much does Empoleon have? How much health? Oh, it's 123. Oh, it's close. So I'm gonna have to switch. Nice, nice. Oh, and my speed's down. How much- is that f me? That speed drop is very bad. We Wing Attack. Get this Heracross off the field. Aqua just gonna hurt. This should just kill. Why does that do so much? I'm gonna Aqua Tail. I can just Roost. Going to Keaton. Nice. Okay, that's 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 that. Good. More attack's gonna hurt a bit. That's okay. Just don't hurt me too much. Okay, good. Okay, that's that hurts a lot actually. A high roll crit there kills me. I'm gonna confuse ray though. Yeah, confuse ray. Aqua tail. Please just die. Nice. It hurt itself. Good. Please hurt yourself. Please hit yourself. Please hit yourself. Oh my god. Come on. Please kill. Yes! Okay, I'm pulling on down. Heracross, okay. Now we go into Bale. So Terra's down. I think it's just I think it's just the rapid dash. Or did we kill the rapid dash in this one already? The wing attack. Oh, it's a float, so okay, 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 okay. So we just go into the Raichu, right? Or we barely used you, so let's go into you to get intimidate off, and then we go into Raichu. Rapid dash, rapid dash, rapid dash. Okay, if I get fire spin, that's really bad. Thunderbolt. Aqua Jet's gonna hurt a little bit. We're okay though. Nice para. We're gonna roost again. How much does this even do? Okay, nice crit. Ah, f dude. I think I gotta switch here. Do I go in Tim and then back in? I think I have to. Is that it? No, that, that might be a uh, rosary left. Yeah, there's a rosary left. Um, okay. Crobat's still looking mighty fine. 
Like, this is harder than any gym. This is the hardest fight we've had in the game by far. Like, they give Barry five mons, but the gym leader's got three. What are we doing here? After somehow making it out of that unscathed, we decided to take a little visit to Iron Island, where we were able to complete our trio of Onyxes by getting Solid Snake and Liquid Snake for Eggs and Ham respectively, while Green got Fish the Finneon, since every Pokemon on the island was a duplicate. But let's not delay any further, let's get what we came for. It's time to take on Byron. So, Magaton comes out, we're gonna Earthquake. So we're gonna go here. Sandstorm's up, which is fine. Doesn't affect us. We are just going to surf. Very nice. Okay, all three go down. Got a crit on one of them. Okay, Bastiodon comes out. He's probably gonna Stone Edge. That's my best guess. He's gonna Stone Edge. So we go into Ron, Harry, and Comet. Pray he does an Iron Defense here. Okay, yeah, Iron Defense is on one. That's kind of scary. I'm gonna Seismic Toss. If he Metal Burst, that's okay. But he Metal Bursts on one. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into Umbreon. Yeah, we're gonna go into Umbreon here. And we're gonna Confuse right him. And then we're gonna Sand Attack him to death. Stone Edge, okay, he hits another one. That's super cool. So now I gotta switch. That didn't last very long. So we're gonna go into you, we're gonna set up rain, and then we're gonna surf. Iron defense and metal burst, that's okay. I don't care about iron defense at all. Rain dance. Oh, he used taunt? I can't use rain dance anymore. Oh, he's so sneaky. I'm gonna just still use surf here. This just kills. That's one down, that's two down. What about mud bomb? It does like 80, yeah, it's like 80%. This is definitely like more than 80%. Okay, he uses taunt. Okay, so that's fine. We have like a free, free go ahead here. This should just kill. Awesome. All right. It's Byron down. After defeating Byron, we travel back to Iron Island, and inside we meet up with Riley. We take care of a few Team Galactic grunts and obtain a Riolu egg that we hatch elsewhere and evolve into Lucario's that will be extremely useful later on. We also catch three tentacles back in Candelave, which I accidentally named Snap, Crackle, and Pop, which are names we've already used before. Oops. But then Team Galactic sets off another bomb, this time at Lake Valor. There, we find Galactic Commander Saturn, who I would say doesn't leave easily, but his team is no match for ours, and I probably spent 30 minutes over planning for no reason. However, we do need to check up on Dawn, who was sent to check out Lake Verity. There, we find her in a struggle with Mars, but just like Saturn, the Galactic Commander can't withstand the strength of three powerhouse teams at once. Now that we've checked out two of Sinnoh's lakes, it was time to go to the third, Lake Acuity. But to get there, we would need to trudge through multiple routes of ice and snow. Along the way, we were able to grab a few sets of encounters. We were able to get North and South the Snow Runs, Home Alone and Elf the Snowvers, Razors and Blades the Sneasels, and a trio of Swinubs that we named Manny, Ellie, and Peaches. We had a close call with an Ace Trainer, who caught us off guard and almost caused us a few deaths, but we endured the cold and made it to Snow Point City. We can't get to Kevin at Lake Acuity because we need the Snow Point City Gym Badge in order to use Rock Climb to get up to him. We slide on the ice, avoiding all trainers in sight. Credit the small ant for the route. And then it was time to take on Candace whose Frost Lass was eager to cause my team a lot of problems. Okay, Sneasel first. It outspeeds all of our guys, but it's okay. We just Aura Sphere. Okay, dead. Okay, Pillow Swine comes out, we just Aura Sphere. Two down. Good. Now we close combat. Now things get silly. So, Frostlass is like 50-50 between Blizzard and Psychic. If it- we really want it to Blizzard now. If it doesn't, it's fine, but if it Blizzards, it's really good for us. We're gonna switch into Rapidash on all of them. Okay, double teams and Psychics. That's okay, that's okay, that's fine. Now it's gonna be baiting Shadow Ball. Yeah, double team is fine because our main goal is to go be in with Umbreon, which has Feint Attack, which always hits. It's not. It's only not good if we don't get Umbreon in for some reason. But we're gonna give it a Snow Cloak in case that does happen using Hippowdon because we're baiting Shadow Ball right now. 
Now we set up sand and it's, we start chipping them as well. Double team, that's fine. Do that all you want. So now blizzard misses are really good if we get blizzard misses. So now we go into tender cruel on, a, on blizzard. Okay, they hit all three. That's that's fine. Nice crit too. Love that. Okay, now it's gonna use psychic. All right, this is what it's all come down to. We just go into, we go into Umbreon now. This should be a psychic. He's used at least three blizzards. All right, we faint attack. We have insurance in case like he didn't get any double teams, but we always faint attack. He has one blizzard. We have an Asper Berry. We have Asper Berries. Just pray. Good. Oh my f***ing god. I hit Citrus Berry. Okay, we might have to just dodge crit here. Oh, he healed? Okay, he had a blizzard. Come on. Nice! Okay, he should be out. He should be out. Nice, 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 nice! Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Yes! Let's go! Oh my god. Woo, baby. The battles are getting more and more difficult, but RNG hasn't been too evil to us so far. Now we have seven sets of badges to show for it. We finally have access to Lake Acuity and find that Kevin had just as much trouble dealing with Jupiter's Skun Tank as we did. She heads to Galactic HQ and we need to follow her. Back in Veilstone, we infiltrate the headquarters, listen to another lengthy yap fest from Cyrus, and barge in on him to stop his plans. Or a sphere. He goes in the Haunch Crow. Yeah, we're going with the rat. Okay, he drill pecked. Okay, this is a high crit move, I'm pretty sure. Just don't. Okay. I'm dead to Okay, I got a para on one. I think do we just full send? I think we just full send. There's no way this kills though. Oh, okay, got one. He got one. And a para! He faint attacked? Okay. Oh wait, no, that's actually bad. Wait, am I just dead? I didn't even think about that. Oh my, I didn't use my brain. I didn't think about faint attack. Oh, f me. That was the dumbest thing I could have done. Oh look, I missed. Oh, I missed Rock Tomb. I love this. I missed. Please, okay, he snapped out. He missed Rock Tomb. I, stop missing Rock Tomb. Okay, nice. Okay, that's one down. And then we hit Rock Tomb. Nice crit. Okay, he's probably gonna heal now. Okay, uh, Steelix can just just hit just hit one, please. Oh, I should have just used strength. What am I doing here? Okay. Losing two of our ride shoes wasn't ideal, but we needed to press on. Deeper in the HQ, we found Saturn, who needed to fight again to free the Lake Trio. But his team was not much stronger than it was earlier, and we beat him without much trouble and free the legendaries. Unfortunately, we were still too late, as Team Galactic was able to create the red chain before we arrived, and they planned to use it to control Dialga and Palkia. The only way to stop them was to meet them at Spear Pillar. But before we can get to Cyrus, we need to fight Mars and Jupiter at the same time, alongside Kevin. So we're just gonna Aqua Tail the left side, because this thing needs to go down. Okay, we hit good. This is gonna do like about half if we're lucky. Okay, that is over half good. Okay, since it reflect, it's kind of funky, kind of bad, but that's okay. Okay, light screen's so fine. Stockpile, okay. I should probably Dragon Dance. I might as well, I might as well Dragon Dance. Cause that was a good first turn. Cause now with one Dragon Dance, even after Reflect, we should be able to kill the Bronzors. Extra Sensory, well, two, okay, one hit me, that's okay. One of them hit me, that's fine. The other one Light Screened, okay, and the other one Extra Sensory, the Munchlax, so we're good, we're good. This is a very good turn. Things are going very smoothly. All right, so after all that, an Aqua Tail should kill. Okay, they all hit, good. Okay, this thing should go down. Good, okay, okay. Spongelax is not doing anything. Love that. All right, so now this Golbat... Oh, it goes right for Skunt. Oh, that was Jupiter's side. Huh, what the f*** are we doing now? I think we just Aqua Tail here and try to get damage off. I didn't realize that was Jupiter's side. We, we, we attack first. Okay, we hit on all sides. How much is this gonna do the Skunt Tank? Okay, about half. Good. Okay, that's fine. Activated Citrus on one side. I'm poisoned on another. Poison jabs me here. I, I'm gonna have to switch here. This is getting... Okay, this is not ideal right now. Okay, so Gyarados is basically out of the fight for the rest of the fight. I need to try to kill Munchlax with Surf, actually. Sludge Bomb, Poison Jab, okay, that's fine. Okay, Confuse Ray is not my side, thank god, okay. We're gonna Surf here. 
I'm just gonna hit everyone here. Everyone attack. Okay, I attack first on every side. Good. Please kill this Crobat. Okay, I did good damage. Okay. It's gonna take you to use Night Slash on me. Okay. How much is that gonna do? Oh, crit's gonna kill me too. Any extra sensory to me? Okay, I might have to switch here. I need Munchlax to do something, man. So I think I go for the Surf. I gotta, I gotta risk it for the Biscuit here. So we 100% just go for Surf, kill Munchlax on one side. We kill, we, we kill Golbat on another, bringing out the last Skun Tank. We kill Bronzor. Okay, this is the right play here. Okay, one down. Okay, okay, we kill not. We got us. We get a crit on one. Kill one skun tank. Good. Okay, that's huge. Okay, we kill one munchlax. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, nice. Can munchlax please, please kill skun tank? Actually, you're just dead. Never mind. Extra sensory here. That's okay. He brings out rapidash. Okay, Perugly's out. So we're safe to go into Lucario and see what happens from there. We gotta see what Barry does. Okay, so Raptor takes out the Skun Tank. Good. Okay, he nice slashes my slot. It's not gonna do anything. Skun Tank. Okay, good. This is actually really good. This is really good. Okay. Star Raptor comes out. Okay, Star Raptor might close combat or Brave Bird here. I don't know what he's gonna do, but either way, it's okay. I think, okay, Aura Sphere here is either way really good for us. Aura Sphere kills a Perugly. Nice crit. Star Raptor did good damage here. Air Cutter's fine. All right, so it's just Golbat and Golbat. I'm gonna fly this one. Cross chop this thing. Will O Wisp. Why would. Oh, I'm Guts! Oh my god, you're a genius! Take out the Rapid Ash. Okay, bring Float to him, please. Oh, I'm confused too. I didn't even think about that. Oh my god, he hits. Oh my god. Oh my god, let's go. Oh my god, wait, that's so good. Okay, I kill. That's two down. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. This is good. This is good. This is good. So this is gonna probably be. I don't know what this is gonna be. It's gonna be probably, probably be Air Cutter if I had to guess. But getting an Intimidate off on the Stun Tank is huge. Do I go into Bale? I do have Citrus on it. Just pray. Pray that Star Raptor can deal a lot of damage to the Skun Tank, please. Okay, hits the, hits the Gold Bat. Yeah, I knew that Air Cutter was coming. Nice crit. Flame throwers me. Ah, uh, it's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Okay, nice. Actually, that was really good. I'm gonna confuse Ray the Skun Tank. Star Raptor missed takedown. That's so bad. Please hit yourself. Please hit yourself. Damn it. Okay. Please don't crit. Please don't burn. Do I fly and pray? I think I fly here so I can avoid deaths. I gotta fly and take out the Golbat. This Confuse Ray is really bad for me. Okay, so this- please take this thing out. Please die. Good. Okay, so now I'll hit the Skun Tank, which is fine. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, any attack Star Raptor. Oh my god, you still have Perugly? Oh, Heracross. Okay, maybe Heracross can just take you out. Oh my god, wait, I hit Perugly slot. No, I want to hit the Skun Tank. That was a crit though, right? No? Oh, I guess not. Heracross, please take out this Perugly. Please. Oh no, Heracross just f Okay, he's just dead. Oh, he's not dead. What the f Okay. Please hit yourself. Please hit yourself. Please Heracross kill Perugly. Thank God. Okay, Heracross. Please. Please Heracross. Yes. Okay, please die. Please die. Nice crit. Let's go. So now it's just Skun Tank on the field. Poison jab, the Heracross. Okay. Um, that's not great. Empoleon. Okay, this is really good actually. You go into Simon. Why would you do that? Attack hit it! Hit it! Empoleon, don't swagger it. It's the worst thing you could possibly do. Why are you swaggering it? For the love of God, man. Dude, you're making this so bad for us. Do I go in? Do I go into Ron? I think I gotta go into Ron. Please hit yourself. Nice. Okay, thank God. Metal Claw. Okay, I think I'm gonna stay and just attack. Vital Throw, I guess. That'll, that should just kill. Please. Please just hit yourself. Please hit yourself. Oh my God, thank God. Come on, please. Citrus? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I will hit, and hopefully Empoleon hits. Okay, good. I'm Guts. I'm Guts and I'm burned. That Rapidash burning me might have been the best thing ever. Please. Please kill, I'm begging you. Oh my god. Oh my god, that fight was awful. With all of the commanders down for the count, we can finally take on Cyrus, but he starts to activate the red chain, and summons the two legendaries in an attempt to control them. But at the last minute, the Lake Trio swoops in and breaks Cyrus' hold on them. Yet, Cyrus' actions have awakened something far more sinister, and the renegade Pokemon, Giratina, comes through and drags Cyrus into its world. The portal is causing our world to warp around it, so alongside Cynthia, we jump in and navigate the twisted maze that is the distortion world. This part of the game is already hard enough to find your way through, so you can believe I got lost a few times when my three games desynced, making me lost in more ways than one. But through perseverance and pure patience, we meet Cyrus right outside of where Giratina rests, and it is time to take him down once and for all. Okay, always leads Houndoom. We Earthquake. Will okay, Willow is on one, he missed one Dark Pulse. Don't flinch. Okay, good, okay. Houndoom's down on everyone. 
Okay, Gyarados does come in. That was my Haunch Cro- Why? So we're gonna yawn here. Ice Fang, okay, healed one side, good. Surf. So now what do we do here? I think we attack again. He crit me. Oh, he didn't crit- Okay, good, good, he didn't kill, good. Now we switch. I think on all of them we go into Gyarados. It's not what I want to do, but we'll have to steer around the last Gyarados. He did get impact, he psyched on the other, okay. Did a lot of damage, Ice Fang, now. Good, he hits. Please kill, please kill, please kill, please kill, please. Thank God, okay. We have one less Haunch to deal with, which is nice, on one side. Ice Fang, okay, if he freezes, that's okay. Okay. Okay, good, he's minus two on two of them. We set up one Dragon Dance and then just attack. Okay, he'll speed us on that one. Please don't freeze me. Oh my God, he froze me. He thought out, okay, what a beast. Do another Dragon Dance, I'm gonna get risky with it. Oh my god, he thought he froze me again! There's no way! He thought out! Oh my god, what is happening? What is happening? That's kind of crazy. We're gonna do that now. Just bite. I feel like we should be ice fanging, but it's okay. We'll get flinches. Nice flinch, two flinches. Oh, he heals. That's okay, that's okay. He's gonna heal again. Oh, he flinched again. Perfect. Okay, now we'll get- Everyone should be on the same page for the most part. Do I Dragon Dance again? We gotta do it, we gotta do it. Gotta get risky, gotta take it. Gotta get greedy here. Ice Fang, okay, don't freeze. Don't freeze, don't crit, don't freeze, don't crit. Nice, okay, so just very procs. Okay, we're in a really good spot right now. Okay, Gyarados down. We're plus three attack, plus three speed. Weavile, okay, this thing's gonna fake out. Haunch Crow. Please hit this. They both hit, nice. Let's go. Okay, so now Weavile comes out. Fake out, perfect, it's fine. Perfect. Nice crit. Oh, you're just dead. So now that crit just means we can't stay in against a Crobat, I think. So now the play is Steelix, because the only thing it can hit us with is, I is Air Slash. We're gonna get taken Air Slash here. Or Confuse Ray, either is okay. Air Slash, okay. Go for Crunch. Confuse Ray is we have Persim, so that's so fine. That's so fine. All right, we got a Defense Drop on one. Let's go for it again, they're gonna, they're gonna all, con okay, two of them Confuse Ray, two of them don't. Don't flinch me. Okay, you didn't flinch, good. Okay, they both crunch. Good, they both get through it. Nice. Good damage. Nice crit! We just keep crunching. He heals. That's kind of lame. So we can, we can switch, kill this thing, and then switch back into Solid Snack to deal more damage. That's like, I think that's my, my play here. Even though I know one of them's gonna heal. Confused very Toxic, that's okay. He hits Rock Blast. Oh my god, one died! Let's go! One, one died, okay, huge. Oh my god, we got a crit on the other one. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. I can take one more attack and a to and Toxic damage. Okay, I hit myself. Toxic's gonna hurt a bit. Oh, I, I bury. That's good. We go back into Snack. Air Slash. Okay, please don't flinch. God damn it. Okay. I, I can take one more. Good. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. But I think, okay, we go Tenta. Okay, yeah, now we're out of range. I forgot Citrus. Perfect. Okay, so we're out of crit range. So now we just Surf. Okay, right, just don't crit or flinch. Okay, that's wraps. Let's go. F yes. Upon his defeat, Cyrus decides to wander the distortion world on his own, and we move on to deal with Giratina ourselves by throwing three Master Balls at the exact same time. And we name our silly little group of demons, Satan, Lucifer, and Beelzebub. Now that the super minor world-ending inconvenience is over, we can resume our gym challenge, with our last badge being in Sunny Shore City. We take a little trip to Fuego Ironworks and get a stroke of luck getting Magnemites in all three games, which we swiftly evolve into Magnezones. Volkner is Sinnoh's eighth and final gym leader, and we're able to convince him to give us a fight. This thing only has, uh, like, Shockwave, Thunder Wave, Iron Tail quick attack, so... Can't touch me, can't touch me. We're just gonna crunch this guy out off a cliff. So now we go Giratina, because it's gonna Focus Blast. Good. We're gonna Ominous win, so we don't make contact. Charge Beam is sick. Oh, he's Signal Beaming. Don't confuse me, please. That'd be lame. Ominous Wind is gonna three hit, or four hit. If we get boost, that's really good. He gets another, oh my god, he gets more boosts. That's kind of scary. Okay, nice crit, okay, attack, I attack, I attack, I attack. Luxray, okay. Okay, be Ominous Wind. Please just don't confuse me, please. Nice, okay, that thing's down. We're gonna wait. Switch. Please crunch. Good. The Earthquake.
Defense drop on two of them. This should... I hope this kills. I actually don't know if it is. Okay, it's not. That's okay. He dealt so little damage, I think I can stay in. Even with the drop. Yeah, he heals. Okay, this is actually perfect. That was perfect. We do it again. Special crunch, please. No crits. No crits. No crits. No crits. No crits. Good. Beautiful. Okay. All right, so now he's probably going to Giga Impact. How? What What am I Giratina's health looking? My Giratina can take anything right now. Go back into Giratina. Quick attack. That's also fine. We're just going to Shadow Force. Thunder Punch. Okay, so that means when we come back, we're going to... Oh, please don't para. Awesome. Okay, no para. Pretty sure this just kills, right? Sensational. Is that it? Is that wraps? Ooh. I suppose this is where I Dragon Claw. And that's wraps. Nice. We got all eight badges. We were done. Eight sets of badges. 24 in total. And now we could finally head towards the Pokemon League. We travel to the gate of Victory Road, and with Ham, we have a guaranteed Gabite encounter on a certain floor, allowing us to complete our trio of three guard chops. This Gabite will take Bronzor's place as the real Tebow to go alongside Spencer and Gibby. The actual trainers here were no issue thanks to our bulky Dragon Mons, and eventually we made it to the Pokemon League, where it was time to take on Kevin one final time, and he was not going to pull any punches. Here we go, okay, he's leading with Staraptor. Alright, so we're gonna Ancient Power. Okay, air released on one. We outspeed on two. Let's do at least half. Okay, good. Do it again. Okay, air release. Okay, so we kill on all three. Good. Beautiful. Torterra, Empoleon. This is not on my bingo card. Okay, we're going to switch on one. All right, so you come in. Floats on the other. All right, and then we go into Magnuson on the others. We're going to fly. We just discharge, outspeed, okay, fly, please do a lot of damage to this Torterra, please. Okay, good, that's really good damage. Okay, we don't kill, that's okay. Brian did a lot, wasn't a fan. He used Synthesis, that's okay, I should still kill now. Torterra, okay, so Torterra's down, Empoleon's down, and Floatzel's down, this is going very well. Okay, Infernape comes in, so we go Gyarados. Rapidash comes in. Okay, so we're gonna switch into water types at the exact same time. Both all three switch all, both these switch into you. And then we have another one going into Magnezone. Waterfall on both, discharge on the other. Brick break. Okay, he went up. That's okay. Don't para. That'd be so lame. Don't para. Good. Okay. Kills. I should be triple kill on all three. Good. Paracross. Okay, so this thing is going to rock slide. Please don't crit. Nice, didn't crit. Okay, so just procs. We go into Gyarados. Okay, we're now we're set up now. We're set up now. Good. Rock slide. Okay, don't crit. Don't crit. Didn't crit. Good. We just flare blitz. We outspeed on both and we kill. Now we go into waterfall with Gyarados. He outspeeds me again. Okay, burn doesn't matter. I have Rosberry. Waterfall kills. Awesome. Okay, hair cross down. This is perfect right now. Snorlax comes in, so it's gonna earthquake, but we're gonna go into Gyarados. Because he'll, he'll tank whatever comes in. He crunched on one Earthquake on the other. That's okay. Did no damage. Okay, so now we're going to switch into Lucario on what's never Earthquake. All right, and Rapidash survived the other one. No crit there. Beautiful. Now we Flare Blitz again. That's three Heracross down. Okay. I have Cherry Berry on Lucario to mitigate any paralysis. Now, if I did my calcs right, Lucario should just kill with close combat. Heracross is down. Let's grab the last Lucario, and I think we're golden. Beautiful. Okay, that's one last Snorlax. So now we have Snorlax out. I don't know what Snorlax is going to use, but we do the same thing. Yeah, we go here. I don't know what it's going to use. It might be Grass Whistle. Either way, we go into you. We fly. And then we go into Lucario. Did I really just miss fly? That's crazy. Let's try it again. Uh, and then we close combat. That should be That should be one fight down, and the other one should be on their way. Yep. Okay, that should be it. That should be it. Awesome. Sweet. With our final preliminary out of the way, we meticulously came up with a team that would win us this challenge. We came up with six trios of Pokemon that I knew would be just what we needed to lead us to victory, and we were ready. The good news is that the first three Elite Four members were Cakewalk. First was Aaron, whose team is extremely underleveled compared to our level cap for Cynthia, and we one-shot most of his team. Second was Bertha, and her Whizcash couldn't hurt Gyarados, who set up a few Dragon Dances and swept her entire team. 
Third was Flint, and Garchomp, on its own, without any boosts whatsoever, was able to one-shot his entire team with Earthquakes. But with those three out of the way, the real challenge begins. Lucian was fourth, and there were a few things that could go wrong. Oh, here we go. Mr. Mime, more like Mr. Time to Die, uh, Crunch. Oh, I didn't PP my Earthquake, that's okay. It doesn't matter, we're not using it anyway. Espeon, do I? I don't outspeed you. We've been over this. Yeah, we've been over this, I don't outspeed you. We just go to Neutron. Please no defense drop, that'd be cool. I might get one defense drop. Oh! That's okay. I don't I don't think I got any defense drops. We just Thunderbolt here. I might have to, I might have to switch. But that's okay. This will do a lot. Actually, if this paralyzes, that's really good. Even if I get synchronized para. Okay, we're in a good spot now. We gotta do it. Come on, please. Yes! Oh, thank god. Drop on one of them, I think. That's okay. Thank god. Okay. Amazing. Gallade? Oh, I don't know what you're gonna use. It only- it always sees kill with Drain Punch. That means we switch into Crobat now. Come on, please, just Drain Punch. Oh, thank god. Okay. So now- okay, so now here's the only time things can go bad, is if we get the 5% Fly Miss on Keaton. The other ones have Wide Lens, so they'll never miss. But I need the Sky Plate on Keaton in order to guarantee that we kill with Fly. So it's a 95% chance we kill, basically. Oh, thank god. Okay, good. Whew. Okay, Alakazam comes in. This is no bueno, but it's okay. We're gonna go into Giratina. So I'm gonna Shadow Force. See ya. Okay, now Bronzong. Do I stay in here? Yeah, we're gonna do that. He's, he's gonna he's gonna calm mind here because he doesn't see kill. I already know it. So right, well, he won calm mines. He calm mines on the worst one, I think. No, he calm mines on two that are fine, actually. Oh he, oh, he got greedy. He got greedy. Okay, we're good. So now we just Shadow Force, and now we should we should win. Yep, we're good. GG. Okay, we're on to Cynthia. This is where it gets fun. Now that the not so elite four was down, we head down the final corridor as the sound of three separate pianos begins to get louder. We enter the final chamber. We have finally arrived at the fight that we have all been waiting for. Champion Cynthia. Buckle up, everyone. Hey, right, Spirit Tombs first. It has nothing that can really touch us. We just need a Thunderbolt twice. It's gonna hit us once, that's okay. No crits, beautiful. Shadow Ball, Dark Pulse, that's fine. Spirit Tomb down. Garchomp's coming out next. This is literally the hardest part. So it's gonna Earthquake. It should Earthquake. If it, if it Flamethrowers and it burns, that's really bad, but it should Earthquake. Intimidate, good. Good, okay. So now, all three of them Dragon Dance. Now don't crit, don't flinch. Oh, f you crit. We're steering on one, guys. We're steering on one, but we kill on the others. We go into Giratina, f it. We're gonna Dragon Claw here. He's gonna Dragon Rush, it's okay. Don't flinch, don't crit, don't flinch. Don't crit, don't flinch. Nice, don't flinch. Yes, good. I'm gonna stay in here, and I'm gonna Ice Fang. Garchomp, please just miss. Nope, okay. Don't flinch. Citrus, okay. Giratina, if please, just crit me, crit here. Oh my god, he survived. Oh, he's gonna heal, he's gonna heal, she's gonna heal. We Dragon Claw. Okay, we kill here. This is where the challenge is crazy now, it gets kind of funky. Okay, crit here. Come on, Giratina. No, okay. I think this is where Giratina goes down, guys. He's gonna Dragon Rush again. If he misses, we have a chance. We gotta go for it. He missed. He, he hit. Okay, Giratina's down. Um, I'm just gonna Waterfall here. He speeds. Okay, I'm down. It's okay. What's my speed here? One. Wait, am I plus speed? Wait, do I have speed? There's no way. I, I, I outspeed. I kill. Oh my god. Oh my god, he kills. We're in this. We're so in this. Please. Outspeed and kill, I beg you. Yes, come on. Come on. Okay, let's do the other attacks while we're doing it. Okay. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Outspeeds. Hits. Come on. Okay, he's gonna heal here. Oh my god, we're so back. 
My Lodic. Okay, you're gonna ice beam me. So I'm gonna let Garchomp go down on the middle slot. Okay. He's gonna go down. Ancient power. Just kill. Good. Okay, that's down. Gibby, sorry, buddy. You gotta go. What was my play here? Oh my god, he lived. There's no way. Gibby doesn't want to die. Gibby's not going, guys. All right, now what do I do? Okay, I gotta think of who's left on each side. I Thunderbolt here as I was planning. Okay, Surf is gonna do a bit. Rose Raid. Gibby, I know you prolonged your death, but you gotta you got go down this time, man. I'm sorry. It's gotta happen. If you crit, Giratina, I'm just gonna Earth Power. Shadow Ball, okay. Oh my god, he did it! He did it! Gibby! What a goat! Oh my god! Okay, that's one down. That's one down. Okay. Electron is toast. See ya, buddy. Sorry. Okay. Uh, okay, you're healing. That's fine. Okay. Uh, you're gonna use Shadow Ball again. I'm gonna go into Garchomp. Holy sh**. Hera would be crazy. Watch this. Oh my god. Now imagine. Imagine though. We are earthquaking here in Thunder Wave. We're gonna die anyway. Oh, outspeed. Why did else? Oh, he's mirror coating. Oh, he he threw. He threw. He threw. He mirror coated. He mirror coated on the Thunder Wave. Electron. Now you outspeed. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Cynthia is so bad! Okay, Milotic. Okay, Garchomp. Do it again. This is actually fine. We go into you. Yep, perfect. All right, okay. While you're doing that, while you're doing those shenanigans, I'll take a mirror coat. You did mirror coat. Okay. Earthquake, see ya. Professor Rowan's yapping while we're fighting for our lives right now. We're gonna Thunder Wave. Watch, watch the tech. Oh, you surfed. Okay. All right, so you're gonna do something. What are you gonna do? I have no idea. I, sur I survived? Oh, it's over. It's wraps. Okay, um, I'm gonna Dragon Claw here. And I'm gonna thunder Thunderbolt. You're dead. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's go. This is, this is unbelievable. This luck is insane. Uh, Dragon Rush for the fans. Ah, come on, man. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Alright, uh, like I said, Dragon Rush for the fans. You, dude, it's some T-Bone. No. Oh, wait, why do you, uh, is my dad? T-Bone missed two Dragon Rushes. Uh, that's why we never use Dragon Rush. Okay. I, I survived? Tebow. Tebow! <laughs> Tebow, what are we, what's going on, man? What is happening? What is this fight? <laughs> just die, please. Oh my god. Just don't extra sensory. Just make this fun for me, please. Nice. We got two games going to the Hall of Fame, and this should be three. Let's go! Let's go! Oh, I feel so good. Oh my god. <laughs> it was over. We had done it. Three hardcore Nuzlocks completed at the exact same time. While Green and Eggs had already entered the Hall of Fame, it did not feel complete until Ham had joined them as well. These three heroes, as well as their Pokemon, had overcome the beast that is Pokemon RNG and have at last claimed victory together. This challenge was a blast, but I won't lie, it was very tedious and slow to complete. Yet, the payoff was all worth it. This has been one of the most unique gaming feats I've ever accomplished, and I'm already thinking of better ideas going forward. If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like, and subscribing to the channel with notifications on. And if you want to watch these challenges live, check out my Twitch channel over at twitch.tv adamant. Hope everyone enjoyed the video, and has a good rest of their day. Thank you for watching.